Well, these guys are starting up the engines and we're getting back on the trail. I'm just gonna introduce this to you. This is a prototype. It's actually not even a prototype. This is a concept trailer. They don't even know if they're gonna take it to market. It's the Bean Squared. It's not the Bean we all know, but it is built on the same frame and has the same cloud suspension as the Black Bean. But you're sacrificing that beautiful galley I love, many of you love, for more space. This is a larger trailer inside, even though it's on the same frame, and the pop top is going to make it big enough to stand up in for anybody. So this is for growing families. This is for people who want that space. It's a bit more indoor living. They have an outdoor cooking area and an indoor cooking area, but again, no galley. You know I'm a galley guy. And so I'm just here to check this out. So as these guys are taking off, I am going to show you the trailer later, let you see inside of it outside. Maybe it's something you're interested in. Maybe it should go to market or maybe they overlook something and you can just share in the comments what you think should be added. But I'm excited. I'd like to see this be a new addition to the Bean family. I better go catch up with these guys. One of the questions we get a lot is like what, what's the difference between a trailer that's made for off-road and a trailer that's just a regular teardrop and it's really the vibration that you are sensing in my voice that you're sensing that you can feel in this vehicle vibration is trying to uh, delaminate every adhesive it's trying to back every screw out Hey guys, this is where we're gonna get out, kind of assess the trail, make sure that the steps are in good shape. Often the trails change here, so we'll make sure we've got the right line and then we'll get everybody down safely. Is this the first test, right? A squared? Yeah. This, this is kind of where it this thing got uh, wrapped up Friday night at 12.30 and uh, drove it home that night just to make sure it was safe on the freeway and then uh, we're taking it on an over 1,000 mile trip down to Flagstaff from Salt Lake. So it'll be good. We'll see how it does on the, the little ledges. And are we ready to send the drone up? Yeah, we're ready to send it up. FJ and Jay. Okay, take it a little slow. There's some ledges coming up. Hey, Raptor, head on down. Slow. You're going off the right now. Okay, now the other ones aren't bad. Just take it small over them and you'll be good. Everything we've done up to this point has been pretty much easy, yeah. but you know, my wife and I talked about it and I know where, how she feels and I'm kind of the same way. It's like, yeah, this is not an enjoyable part. Yeah. You know, it's more yeah. like you're putting it at risk and yeah. what ifs and long ways from home. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I've just thought if the Land Rover, I don't know where we'd get it fixed. <laughs> This is a good husband. I mean, if people just knew what you went through just to get to this section, huh. right? Oh, this is great. I don't, the bean, I don't worry about the bean at all. What it's do you worry the, about? The land rope. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, oh, yeah. right? Not the bean. Okay, so we oh, are, yeah, that is on. mark it up. Okay. We are right we love here. Have any service, up. So, so here's I-70, that freeway we came in. Yes. Oh. Oh, so nice. when you show up, because we'll get there first, when I've you show up, that. hopefully yeah, we'll have a camp site for the group the yeah. figured out. Okay, perfect. Oh, we have our radio, is there, so once you get it within once like two miles or yep. something, we'll yep. call you on the radio. Just keep that on, make sure it's charged. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's more, it's a, we're a long ways away from home. We're driving a Land Rover, which is pretty hard to get parts and repairs and things like that. We have a lot of adventuring 
left to do so we don't want to wind up broke down you know this particular portion is pretty technical hey we'll see you at the next <laughs> yeah okay well thanks stop. drew yep Bye. i hope you make it to we must ask you to leave now doggy <laughs> we built a frame had springs and once the frame was done and it was the exact same size as black bean we're like hey what are we going to do with this frame and we thought, let's build a trailer on it. Let's build a trailer that basically gives up the front box and that amazing galley of black bean for more interior space, but that would also have the same off-road capabilities that black bean has. And so uh, that's what we did. We wanted to have a space where if it started raining, you could go in and hang out. If you needed to prepare a simple meal, inside of it because we still prefer outside living and outside cooking agree, then you could do that also are you on the down slope yet so when we created this thing right we did end up going outboard of the tires right just to give us some more width right that's the way that we're able to run our queen bed sideways in this thing um, so technically the trailer is not any wider than a regular black bean i wanted to see how it fit into the bean family and if it did fit in the bean family i wanted to know the structural rigidity of it and how it operated with this custom suspension that we developed but being able to kind of trade some of that galley space right especially like me with a growing family i've got a couple kids you can trade out some of that space for some floor space a little bit extra sleeping space and it makes it a little bit more comfortable so we kind of just wanted to test that, right? See if in theory that yeah. actually works out good. Um, but without giving up its off-road capability, without giving up the ability to go where others can. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Brigham with Bean Trailer and we're giving you guys a first-hand look at the all-new concept trailer, Bean Squared. So really where this trailer came from is we had an extra black bean cloud frame sitting around with our custom trailing arm suspension and we thought what would happen if we got rid of Black Bean's front box and its rear galley and made a trailer that had more inside living space. And so that's where Squared came from. Essentially what we did is we incorporated a nice pop top. So you've got a ton of stand up space in here. It feels nice and open, right? You can move around in here, um, but cooking is still super important for us. So we've got a small interior kitchen and a nice exterior kitchen that's set up where you can cook whatever you want. We also have a nice bench here that folds out. This will give you extra room to sleep two more adults if you'd like. So over here we have our main sleeping area. So this is a full queen size bed. You've got lots of storage underneath it. We've also incorporated a nice area where you can have a restroom if you want inside, um, as well as storage that you can customize. You've got a nice beautiful view out the rear. There's still plenty of space here so that you can stand up. You're not hitting your head. Nice little areas to store your little knickknacks and trinkets. Um, and you also have your power center that sits right here. So we're here on the outside of the trailer now and we wanna give you a quick look at the exterior kitchen. Now this kitchen was kind of inspired by Stalker. We have a lot of people who love the Stalker kitchen. So you've got your two cutouts. So you can run either dual sinks or dual cutting boards. Um, you have a spray port over there. So you've got plenty of water out here. It also gives you a really nice setup to where you can grab food out of your fridge be prepping on this side. Someone can be on this other side of the kitchen, cooking off the discada, getting over to your sinks. Just keeps it really simple and really clean. This trailer is going to be revealed at Overland Expo West, but I'm gonna make sure in the future to do a more detailed walkthrough, showing you some of those features that I kind of glanced over. In this video, I just wanted to show you what it's capable of in the field. If you're interested in more of these bean trailers that were mentioned in the video, like the black bean, I'll put that walkthrough on the left here, or the bean stock, which I love, which is their entry level trailer, or just why I think fiberglass trailers are right for many of us, click any of these videos here and I'll also put links in the description. Thank you so much for joining us on the journey. I'm excited to share more with you in the future and stay safe on the road out there.